when you look at the 2024 NFL Draft, it is not exactly the deepest cornerback class in, the, in recent memory. There are a number of safeties in this class, however, that I believe could come in and be immediate impact players at the NFL level. This is one of the deeper safety classes we have seen in the last few years, and one of the guys that has been jumping out who is going to be selected fairly high is Minnesota DB Tyler Nubbin, a player who has been extremely productive for the Golden Gophers, and in today's video, we will be looking at what I like and what I don't like about his game. But hey guys, if you guys are new to this channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. With the major bowl games coming this weekend, I will have a ton of these prospect spotlights coming out, so if you enjoy NFL Draft content like this, ring that notification bell so you are notified when they upload. But without further ado, let's get into it. Nubbin had a pretty productive season in 2022. He put up 55 tackles, had 3 pass deflections, a forced fumble, and 4 interceptions on the season for Minnesota, which are pretty solid numbers for the safety position. Nubbin has once again had a really good year in 2023, and his numbers are nearly identical to what they were last year. This season, he has 53 tackles, with 4 pass deflections, 1 forced fumble, 1 sack, and 5 interceptions, and he has been huge in getting Minnesota to a bowl game despite their 5-7 record. Nubbin has an excellent frame and amazing size for the safety position. Standing at 6'2", weighing 210 pounds, he is the exact size profile that you look for in a strong safety. He has long arms, he has broad shoulders, and he is just a massive player in that secondary and a big bodied safety which is something I love to see. Nubbin is an excellent player in zone coverage especially, and it all starts from his play recognition. He does an incredible job of reading the quarterback's eyes and mirroring it with his body. He reads RPOs and play action plays beautifully, and he doesn't bite very much off the jump. Nubbin is a very smart and very disciplined player in coverage, which is my favorite thing about him and things teams are going to absolutely fall in love with. He doesn't bite, he has a very good feel for the game, and he just has elite football IQ, which is exactly what you look for in a starting safety. Nubbin also has the ability to come down in the slot and get one-on-one -on -one matchups and man coverage. He has an aggressive punch off the line of scrimmage, and he plays very physical, which is something that I always love to see. Lastly, Tyler Nubbin is a strong hitter and a very good tackler. He lands some very hard hits in the middle of the field, and he doesn't have many missed tackles that show up on film. He only had 6 missed tackles on the season for Minnesota, and he does an excellent job of hitting hard and wrapping up to make sure that his man goes to the ground, which is another great thing you love to see from your safeties. There are a couple of areas of Nubbin's game that I would like to see him improve upon. There were a few instances where Nubbin got beat over the top. The reason for this is not a lack of awareness, but more so a lack of speed. Nubbin does not have that sideline to sideline elite speed that I think is pretty necessary to play the safety position. Coming out of high school, Nubbin ran a 474 40-yard dash, which is not ideal whatsoever. Nubbin has to improve on his speed in my opinion to be a super successful player because he has to be able to help over the top against speedier receivers that are going to be making plays down the field, and he is not a very fast player at all, and that is something that concerns me for his game moving forward. Another area I would like to see Nubbin improve on is his run defending. When coming downhill to make a tackle, it seemed that he didn't have the change of direction that I like to see, and he struggled to keep a fluid motion when coming down to make a tackle in the run game. I can't really explain it, but his movements just didn't look super fluid, and it's another area I would like to see him improve upon, and I'd like to see him be a more sure run defender. Nubbin is a fun prospect. He's a super fun player who has a lot of upside as an elite defender at the NFL level, but due to a lack of speed and that lack of run defending, I don't have him at the top of my safety rankings. Some people will say he's the number one safety in the class, and I'm just not there. Tyler Nubbin is my number three safety in the class, and my number 35 player overall. His football IQ is great, but there are still some flaws in his game that do worry me. Tyler Nubbin would work best in a heavy zone scheme in my opinion. 
He reads the quarterback's eyes at an elite level, and his zone coverage reps are some of his best. I think Nubbin, being in a scheme where he doesn't have to cover a super large area of the field, would also neutralize the lack of speed in his game if he only has one zone to cover. So that is my comp for him, and my area that I would like to see him play in. I think he would be a great zone defender. My player comparison for Nubbin is Rashad Jones. Neither of them are the fastest players in the world, but they both are big body safeties who have great football IQ and are really hard tacklers in the middle of the field. I think that Nubbin can be a better version of what Jones was for Miami, so that's my player comparison for Tyler Nubbin. I like Tyler Nubbin. He's an extremely smart player who doesn't bite and has a lot of the things that you can't teach. You can't teach intangibles, and Tyler Nubbin has a lot of those things. While there are some concerns, I do believe that Tyler Nubbin will be a top 50 pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.